And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are kicking off a new Transport Fever series. Yeah, the old one is getting pretty laggy and stuff, so I kind of want to kick off a new series as another challenge. And we're going to go more kind of mainstream this time, but the map that we're going to use is going to be custom still. I uh, kind of want to give a give it a try. So we're going to do a free game, and here's how you load a custom map. You just select map from here. These are all the maps that I have subscribed to, and the, we're going to use Westeros. We're going to bring trains and trucks into the the uh, sort of the medieval era of Westeros here. And as far as mods go, I think we are doing pretty good on mods. I don't. I have one other one that I can do here. Might as well add it. See if we can't uh, use that somewhere. And let's see, yeah, we don't have anything else that we need to add. So we're gonna save that. Seed is fine, all the, the industries and stuff are there for us and we just gotta make it work. So let's start off. Should we start off in 1950? Um, no, let's start off in 1900. Make sure we've got a little bit of room to spare. Um, and I'm going to go on easy this time. I've, I showed that I can do medium, and I'm going to try it easy this time just to, just to make sure that we give Westeros a little bit of love. All right, let's see if we can't go in. Uh, see how fast this starts up here. All right, here we go. We have Westeros. It's a pretty good sized map. And we have lots of water that we can use for shipping and passengers. Lots of space in between um, these sort of maps. So, and it's relatively flat, which is nice. Um, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think this will work. It's, we've got limited space, so we're gonna have to get a little creative if not uh, use trucks a lot more in this series. Um, so I'm just sort of gonna jump into it here and let's see, uh, King's Landing, I think would be a great midway, midway point to use. Um, so on that front, let's figure out if there is a way to a way to do this here that sort of makes sense um, we have industry all over and let's see castle black I think we'll be able to do like a train line hitting river run twins Winterfell and Castle Black all the way up, all the way up through there. Um, as far as down here, yeah, I think we're going to start her off. Always try to go for a train line first. Um, we want, I want to do six, 240, yes. It's going to be pretty pretty expensive but I think if we just kind of pop it right on the end over here uh, I want to bend it a little bit this way maybe put it over here that might be wiser and let's get our track going gonna jump right into this end end track here just to save some money later on okay so if we want to go to storm's end or high garden and these we're gonna to have to sort of bend a little bit bend this out bend this out just to make sure so if we have that one going this way, and this one coming around this way, 
I think we'll be able to hit it. Although, storm's end, we're going to have to go around that huge, huge bank there. So let's just first get this setup going. And I'm going to drop it down to four. Uh, do I want just four? I think right now I'm just going to go with four. Uh, and we're going to sort of bend it up a little bit. I'm going to put it out here a little ways. Uh, because this is going to run up through here. Try to poke into the side here. Alright. So, we are on our way to getting Westeros some much needed... Much needed industrialization here. Oh, that's too close. Much better. There we go. And this one can come up and around and hopefully connect itself up. And that way I don't have to spend the money to do that okay and the next one is the twins um, and we're gonna move it up here just like that I think we're gonna put it on this side although this isn't really a very long run I think right in here See that? I don't want to hit that. So I'm going to need to bend it a little bit more this way. So we can miss that tool factory right there. Alright. So, from here, we're just going to focus on getting these lines running for now. and then worry about the prettiness of it later. So I want all of these. This is rather expensive. But I don't want any, like, buildings to, to build in there because that would be a bad, that would be a bad thing. So this line, what do I want this line? Oh, I'm going to go to the second one in. Second one in, let's go for it. So I'm going to stretch this all the way up and have it meet. And we are hitting that right there. So let's uh, dial it back a little bit. There we go. That works. All right. We have a line going there. So let's, I'm going to bring this one. Oh, I'll bring this one up to here. See, we're using the inside. We're using the the right side here, and this one I'm using the left side. So, when eventually I upgrade this to be one continuous line, we can then just integrate all of this together, which is fine. Uh, yeah, that's good right there. And I don't have any other workings going on there, so that's fine. And now let's. We're going to depot that. We're going to depot that. And let's come down right in here and squeeze one right in. Okay, so let's do a line from here to here. Let's make this one the red line. 
I mean, it is King's Landing after all. So. King to River. Commuter. Okay. And then let's do a new one. From here to here. This one will be River to Twins commuter all right so the other thing I want down here is first let's build us a road no nope. road this way connecting these up now we can place our lovely Can we sneak it anywhere in there? Doesn't look, like, well, doesn't look like we can. So let's try to squeeze it right in here. Oh. Yeah, we could do trams too. That is definitely possible. I wanna I wanna play with trams a little bit in this in this series. I didn't do any, I didn't do them at all last series, and I kinda wanna play around with them. And see if they're see if they're gonna be good. Okay, so we have one there. Do we have one up here? We do not have one up here. So I want to put one up here with a road. Because the next one is going to come up to Winterfell. I want to make sure these have plenty of opportunity to grow and, and flourish. So the twins, we're going to just kind of connect them up like that. I'm thinking of bus lines, like future bus lines. What do I want to do about buses? And... Oh, there it is. And I might as well do it while it's cheap. Okay, now King's Landing should be squared away, although there's... Something to be said for merging these in like this. 700,000, ouch. You know what, I'm just gonna do it now. Forever hold my peace. Okay, so bus lines, obviously we're gonna have some pretty good bus lines up in here. I really want to encourage Encourage the city to grow. So we're going to put one up here. And that'll continue down. We're going to put one way over here. And we're going to come down about... Um, I think right in here. I might, I might destroy this little stub of a road in here, yeah no point of that road being right there so this should get oh a lot of those we can we could actually put another bus line right in here um, let's see yeah right in here so there's quite a few stations there and we're going to add a depot and then add a new line for King's Landing So we're going to keep with the this current system here and wrap this around. And last one is here. All right. And that rounds out the yellow clockwise route. 
K-I-N-L, King's Landing, Passenger, Hawkwise. Oh, it's so nice that the game is running smooth again. Oh, it's so nice. So we're going to buy uh, Passenger Max. Make them yellow. Six of those. King's Landing. Go. And now for the train routes. Uh, this is a red line, I believe. And we are going to run. Let's see. How much money do we have? Um, 37 miles an hour. That is brutal. The mogul, the mogul is good for now. Because it can go 47. Yeah. Compartment car. Three axle car, I think, is what I went with last time. Because it was nice, solid... Um, really good speed. So we're going to try like five of these. So we were going to set line King's Landing to River Run. And hopefully get a line going in here. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. And passenger. So we've got that one there. Let's uh, send it off to this direction. And then over here. And here. And then over, way over here, I think is a good spot. Should cover everybody. I could put one in the middle and have a little bit more coverage there, but that would be a hard one to integrate into my system here. So we're going to wait on that. And first, I want a new line from here to here. I think, yep, right in here. And then here. And there's our clockwise route. So this is yellow. This is uh, river run pass clockwise. Okay, now one last thing is the depots. And we're gonna buy some max, which are yellow. Leave ourselves a little bit of money. Set line to river run clockwise. There we go. We have some of the, the basics of setting up the commuter rails and all that kind of stuff. And with this system, it takes, I mean, it takes a little while for everything for everything to update and for things to grow and people to start using the the system and all that kind of stuff. So I haven't even looked at how this is distributed here. Uh, one thing that I could do is do a counterclockwise route and pull more more of these residents into, into industrial and commercial. But the point is to get them to use our lines. So this heavy residential area actually connects to this commercial industrial area, which is perfect. I didn't even plan for that. I didn't even look at that. So, yeah, now this is more or less a residential, and this pulls also down into here. But we don't have a, we don't have a run on this yet. Twins are very much not serviced right now. They've got the lines and everything. They just don't have anywhere to go. So yeah, I do want to get into more like trams, planes, and all of that with the with the distances involved. You know, a plane way up here connecting to King's Landing somewhere would be would be great. 
it's a nice long run. And then I could have King's Landing to Sunspear. I could have Sunspear go up to Castle Black. And I could connect these cities also with a plane somewhere. Which might be good. So yeah, a lot of potential for moving industry. We got to be really careful with our lines. There's a lot of industry, you know, poking around here and not a whole lot of room. So we're going to have to get really creative with our lines and hope, hope that, you know, everything works out. So a lot of sharing track. You know, a lot of moving industry around with trucks and boats. I mean, King's Landing has a nice shoreline here that we can bring in, bring in stuff from from the sea. So that is the plan for this series: is to be a little bit more, uh, or should I say, less reliant on trains and more reliant on some alternate means, because we do also have the freight airports mod installed so i would be able to move move some stuff around with you know have a distribution center where i'm where i'm loading like if i have a food processor way down here i could load food up and drop it off at the food processor and then truck it into different cities or train it into different cities that's also a plan so yeah so the Westeros, the Westeros playthrough has begun, and that'll do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.